What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is a quick how-to, or as quick as I can make it, to use an Xbox controller or your keyboard and mouse to run PlayStation Now because they don't have those touch pads which you need in so many games to access certain menus and do certain skills in games. So we'll be able to get around that with this really easy way of this DualShock 4 emulator. Now before we jump into it, try to hang with me here through the video. I know it's fun to skip around and try to figure it all out, but I don't want you to miss anything and you got to go through all the steps in the right way here. So hang with me. Let's go through this. We're going to close PS Plus for now because you don't want this open at all until you have everything installed and running. Now, a lot of you have asked me where to get the app from for the PC because they moved it. I will have all these links in the description for you, but you got to go to the Getting Started page over here for the PlayStation Plus, and they have a new area right here for Premium where you can download the PC app. So they've moved this over here, and I will put a link for you so it's easier to find. It took me a little while myself. Now, let me jump over to the tab for the DualShock 4 emulator, and this was updated uh, this year actually all these programs were and what's cool about this is that R57 Zone, and he has a YouTube channel if you want to support him, uh, has got all the programs down here on the release page that you'll need as with the emulator, the DS emulator right here, the zip file that you will need to download, your VIGEM bus setup, 64-bit and 32-bit here, same thing with your Visual CPP redistributable for Windows, both in x86 and x64. So whichever file types you need, 32-bit or 64-bit, download those. Those are the three files you need, your emulator zip, your Visual CPP, and your VIGEM bus setup. So get all three of those files downloaded. Over here on this other page, again, all these links will be in the description to help you out as well. You've got all the different setup directions, facts, uh, shortcuts, all the things you're going to need. So if you need to dive deeper into this besides this video, go check all this out. Um, one big thing for me is just clicking the back button doesn't bring up the touchpad menu. Uh, it doesn't work for me that way. But if I hold the back menu and click the right stick, it does work. And I'm going to show you that later on in the video how it all works. But uh, everything is working for me and, and has gotten me past those barriers. Down here, you You'll also see the keyboard and mouse setup. Now, I've not tried this or used keyboard and mouse. It's not really my thing for this, um, but you can do it. I've seen videos where this emulator is working really well on keyboard and mouse also. So you've got all that information here, and uh, so you can set up for either one. Now, let's get over here back to the desktop. Now that you've got all those downloaded, I've got mine in a folder here. You've got your zip, you've got your uh, bus, and you've got your visual CPP. So you want to do this in order? Go ahead and install your bus right here. I'm not going to go through it. I've already done it, but... You'll click on that, you'll install that, and then the next thing you'll want to install is your visual for Windows here. If it's already installed, it'll let you know. And then you're going to open up and extract your emulator zip file. And once you've got that extracted, you'll go into that extracted folder. And you've got both the 32 and the 64-bit versions here, so you can run whichever one you need to. Over here in your settings, really quickly, if you go into the game settings, and we're going to go up to the Xbox game bar setting actually up here. And if you turn off this for your Xbox button, it will allow the Xbox button to be used as the PlayStation button inside of PS Plus. If this is turned on, that won't work. You won't be able to use the Xbox button Um as the PS button. It's not a big deal. You can use the escape key on your keyboard to do the same thing, but if you would like to tie that button, and I'll show you here in the video later, you can do that. So what you got to do before you open PS Plus is open your emulator. I haven't connected my controller yet, so you can see here it's emulating the keyboard and mouse automatically. Now I'm not going to use it that way. Like I said, I'm not really into keyboard and mouse for these PlayStation games, but it will work well to emulate that. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to connect my Bluetooth Xbox Series X controller. All right, that's connected. So I'm going to go ahead and open up and then you can see now it's emulating my Xbox controller automatically. So if you've got a controller connected, it should pick the, up that automatically. If you have no controller connected, it'll pick up your mouse and keyboard. Now that that's running and minimized, we can open up PS Plus and that will get us going. If this is open first, it will not work for you. The emulator must be running first. So there you go. We're inside here. Now we're going to jump into Spider-Man Miles Morales, uh, both Spider-Man games, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, quite a few games. If you don't have access to the touchpad, you will eventually get stuck or not be able to use or upgrade skills and different things like that. Um, so we'll get Miles Morales set up here. It does launch this in a separate window for whatever reason, all the games it didn't used to when it was PS Now. So watch out for that. Uh, see if you've got another window down there. But here we are. We're launched into Miles Morales, got my Xbox controller. All the buttons work normal. Of course, they won't change binding in-game, so A is X, X is uh, square, and so on and so forth. But everything works good. Hit my Xbox controller, and there we go. It acts like the PlayStation button inside of PS Plus to bring up my menu. So that works really well. And now, if I hit the back button, like I said, it won't bring up that touchpad menu. I've never gotten that to work, but if I hold the back button and click the right stick works great in all the games. It's the same as clicking the touchpad and the right joystick simulates touch like uh, with your finger on the touchpad. And other than that, everything works great in there. I can back out 
we can go back in and that gets me past the barrier before where you know if you didn't have the DualShock 4 controller you couldn't open this menu at all and you couldn't interact with the game the way you needed to so this gets us past that barrier and should work really well all right, guys, so that's pretty much going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope this really quick, easy emulator works for you. It's worked for everybody I've shown it to so far. Um, like I said, I haven't used it for mouse and keyboard, but I've seen videos of it working. Every friend I've showed it to um, that wants to use their Xbox controller to play Spider-Man right now, um, it's worked for them great, and they've had no problems. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima as well. Uh, I've had a couple of friends jump in, had no problem with the emulator. And me, myself, I use a DualShock 4 controller. I highly recommend it. I still prefer it for playing these games. I think you should have a DualShock for a controller if you're going to play PS Plus on your PC or whatever. But if you don't want to go that route, you can use this and get your Xbox controller to work. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out this tutorial. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave me your comment. Thanks a lot for coming to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.